guys, it's Aaron from Life Excel, and we are here at Blue Waters Island. It is beautiful. You have the world's biggest observation wheel in the back. We've got supercars over there. We've got Madame Tussauds, the wharf, bowling. You would not guess that this is man made. Yes, that's true. That's man made. So we're on an island. Uh, the beach, JBR Beach, is just opposite. So what we're going to do today is take you on a tour. Everybody knows I am supercar crazy. We've got a Lamborghini Puffamante in red. Look at that for a spec. Beautiful car. Chrissy is just strolling along. I think she's taking in the views. Chrissy, we've been to Blue Waters before, haven't we? And my favourite restaurant is on Blue Waters as well. It is, it is. It's a very beautiful island. It's a lot quieter than JBR Marina. So it's quite nice to come here for something a bit different. Um, the Caesars Palace Hotel is here and that's brand new. It doesn't have a casino in it. Because obviously gambling isn't allowed in Dubai. However, it does have, it's meant to have a beautiful spa, poolside, its own private beach. So, I mean, if you're looking to get away from the hustle and bustle and something that's a bit more quiet but still has everything on your doorstep, Blue Waters is probably the right place for you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So e this is a place called The Wharf. Um, it is on Blue Waters Island and I didn't know it had as much things on it. I just got, we've got a beautiful view of the observation wheel. So cars can come onto here, park here. There's coffee shops, there's cafes, there's restaurants. Uh, what else is on here? Christian bowling alley. Bowling alley, kids play center. You've got, um, you've got a nice walk along the, the um, street. No, not the moon, near the seafront. Lovely walk along there. They've got loads of stores and like street food stalls. And if you're interested, caviar, saffron and truffle car park if oh, you're driving honey, honey. but it's very peaceful here i'm very surprised you can't even hear anybody talking you can just hear birds tweeting the only people talking is us social is it delinquents is that what you call us i'm not entirely sure but uh let's carry on with the tour we're outside our caesar's palace so this is a very well-known resort here in dubai very expensive but if you did want to stay here honestly you will not be disappointed just look at that for a setting as i said it is a lot more quieter you've got a lot more peace here you can hear the birds tweeting if i shut up for a second there we go the view in front of me is a million dollar view so shall you let's do it oh my god the whole of jbr, right? the whole of JBR with a view of the observation wheel so that is normally where we go to the beach just behind this uh, cover, covering, covering, what do you call it? I'm not entirely sure. Wow. Caesar's Forum, not entirely sure what that is, but we shall definitely Seems check that out. It does seem a bit diplomatic, so we definitely won't be recording there. We already had an issue at the Burj Khalifa where I was using an external microphone and the security guard uh, pulled me out. He singled me out, even though there were probably easily over 400 tourists video recording and taking pictures and he said i wasn't permitted to use a microphone so uh, be in his bonnet but we won't mention that because good energies only but for now let's just soak up this view wow so how amazing is this you can actually see the device skydivers from here when the planes take them along just along this runway here you can actually maybe if one two three Oh, fourth skydiver. Is there a here. fourth? There's a fourth that's come out of nowhere. Where is he? There he is somewhere. Right there. So it's a really good place to uh, be for watch. And then I'm guessing once the uh, Dubai wheel or the A Dubai opens up, you'll be able to walk all the way along there. Kind of do a little bit of And yeah, it's just a great place to actually see JBR without having to be on the farm or at the bike farm. Absolutely. What a view this is, honestly. Um, if you are in Dubai, make sure you check out island uh, like i said there is so much to do walk around very peaceful there's beautiful views there's of course the observation wheel in the back shopping food lunch coffee uh, activities bowling madam two swords absolutely everything um, and they have got a private beach here which you'll have to pay for but i think it's well worth the experience if you ask me so there's quite a lot of vacant availability at the moment. Okay. So where there. are we at the moment? We are currently here. Yeah. Okay. So we are there. We've explored this little part here. I think we came from over here, which is the main road. 
Uh, so we're yet well. to explore all of this. We came from here because there's Madame Tussauds and that's where we've got dropped off. Yeah. And then this is everything that's here, which also has a hard rock. Wow, so let's yeah. read out some of the main things. So we have loads of foods. That's my favorite restaurant, Leans. We have loads of food at McDonald's on uh, Porto 99, which I think we might be going to tonight at Starbucks. London Project hot dogs. We have loads of coffee shops as well. The Wharf, uh, of course, Doctor Nutrition, Optics. So it's literally, a, it's just, a, it's just its own ecosystem, really. Um, it's like its own little country. They've got everything on it. It's peaceful. It's away from the hustle and bustle. You can come here, relax, and know that you've got everything here that is available at the main Dubai. Hey, so we've got obviously in Dubai the largest observational wheel in the world. Wow, that's big. Uh, we've got taking loads of like. I don't know, I want to say street food, but it's not quite street food, but loads of like kiosks. So we've got Take a Bow, Dynamite, Dynamite, which I'm guessing is Dynamite Shrimp. We've got uh, Goo Goo. Yo, Goo Goo. And um, we've got the Little, little Greek, Greek Shop. Shop. The there. food looks amazing there. Blends. Which is juice and smoothies. We've also got corn over there. We've got ice slushies. We've got games. We're not entirely sure if this is open though, so we're going to go ask and find out. I had no idea that they do something called a movie night here on Blue Waters Island. So it's movie night under the stars at night time and tonight we got really lucky because it's actually on today. We're going to go watch Black Panther at 7pm in the plaza. So that's really exciting, I can't wait and it's all outdoors. That's actually one of my favourite movies. I remember when it came out and we went to watch it. So in fact, I watched it twice in the cinemas. It was that good of a movie and now we get to watch it under the stars in lovely Dubai. And then we go for dinner at the Hard Rock. I feel like Blue Waters is a hidden gem. I, like I said, we did come before, but I didn't know that we had all of this. This is amazing. We assumed it was closed. So we assumed that it was closed, but apparently not. We've got music blaring. There's people here taking photos. There's food all along. Chicken. There's House of Puppy. Puppy, I think it is. There's ice cream. There's hot chips. There's shaka waka. Boba. Boba just over there. We've got the London Project just up there. We've got Takahisa, I think it is, a London slide. We've got so much. We've got the Address View Hotel. We've got the JBR Beach Hotel, which we stayed at six months ago. That's JBR Beach. I am in heaven. I'm in heaven. I absolutely love it. And this goes to show where you need to get off the beaten path and don't go where everyone tells you to go. But we're telling you to go here. <laughs> I absolutely love this part of Blue Waters Island. So they have these, what are they called, Chris? You did Google it. Oh, what are they called? I think they're called magic trees, maybe? Magic trees, they have these magic trees, and in the nighttime, they are all lit up different colors. So you can imagine coming down here when it's nice and dark and everything's raving, there's people walking around and in the restaurants. We're here at London Slide. This is an amazing concept. We've got our very good friend, Mohammed there, who has just served us. We just went for the spicy wagyu, which includes the bacon, jalapeno, mushroom slide sauce, truffle fries. Krishi, what did you get? I got guacamole. You got the guacamole, <laughs> which is just here. So we're looking forward to experiencing this. And then next door, they've got fine dining, which is the London project. And it looks absolutely amazing. So if you are here, make sure you come check out my boy, Mohammed, and he will sort out your order and look after you as well. I have never Check seen you out. look more happy. <laughs> I don't even think I was as happy when I first met you. <laughs> we've got my small Wagyu burger here. We've got the truffle fries. We've got the guac and the nachos. I didn't know nachos came here. Yep. I wasn't going to eat guac by itself, was I, Aaron? Ah, that's true. Let's eat. We have been watching these guys doing tricks in the air for the longest time. Just look at that. They are having the time of their lives. Oh, aren't they? the one, two, three. There's wow. loads of them. Three people have already landed as well. That is it for the Blue Waters Island tour. We've actually done so much here. We've been walking around for the best part. I think two hours now. We've had our food at the London Project. No, London. Not the London slide. Project. The London Slide. We've had our food. It was amazing. And uh, now I think we're going to head over to the beach just over there and get our tan on. Make sure that you like comment and subscribe as always guys there's more content on the way you'll see me and Krishi traveling to loads of different places so uh, we would love for you to keep up with that as well until next time guys